Hello and welcome all. In today's video, we're gonna learn how to add and subtract fraction. So the fraction which we will be working today will be having different denominator. So let's start. First, we will see the case of addition where we're gonna add fraction with the different denominator. So to explain this, I have taken these two fractions, one out of four and one out of six. If you have seen my previous video, there I have explained to add or subtract the fraction, the thumb rule is the denominator must be same. Here we have seen that the denominators are not same. So what we will do to make the denominator same, we will take the LCM of these denominators. So if we take the LCM of 4 and 6, we will get 12. We have to make denominator same as the LCM by multiplying with some number. So let's see. Our first fraction is 1 out of 4. If we have to make 4 as 12, what we will do? Simple. We will multiply it with 3. If in the fraction we are multiplying denominator with some number, we have to multiply numerator also with the same number. Otherwise, the value of the fraction will be changed. So, what we will do? We have taken 1 out of 4 because to make 4 as 12, we have to multiply it with 3. So, we will multiply 4 with 3 but we will multiply 1 also with 3. Now, our next fraction is 1 out of 6. To make 6 as 12, we have to multiply it with 2. But as I have said already, if we multiply denominator, we will multiply numerator also. So, we will multiply numerator and denominator both with 2. After making the denominator same, our fractions have changed like this. So, 1 out of 4 have become 3 out of 12. And 1 out of 6 become 2 out of 12. So, our denominators are same, right? So, now adding fraction is super easy. Because now what we have to do? We just have to add numerators. So, we add 3 and 2. What we will get? We will get 5. And we will leave denominator as it is. Because it is common. So, we will write 12 here. So, addition of 1 out of 4 and 1 out of 6 has given us 5 out of 12. Let's see another example. So, here we are adding 3 fractions because in real life we can get the scenario where we have to add 2 or more fractions. So, what should we do in this case? Again, it's simple. We have to take the LCM of the denominators because again the denominators are different. So 10, 6, 5 these are different numbers. So if we take the LCM of denominators what we will get? We will get 30. Now it's time to make all the denominators as 30 by multiplying with some number. So first fraction is 3 out of 10. To make 10 as 30, we have to multiply it with 3. So, we will multiply numerator as well as denominator with 3. Next fraction is 1 out of 6. To make 6 as 30, we will multiply numerator and denominator with 5. And the last fraction is 2 out of 5. To make 5 as 30, we will multiply 2 with 6 and 5 with 6. So, after making the denominators as 30, what we have get as new fractions or the converted fraction. So, our 3 out of 10 has become 9 out of 30. 1 out of 6 has become 5 out of 30. And 2 out of 5 has become 12 out of 30. All our denominators are same here. So, we will just add all the numerators. If we do 9 plus 5 plus 12, we will get 26 as the numerator and our denominator will become 30 because it is the common denominator of all given fractions. But if you have noticed that the result 
can be simplified further. So, we will simplify it. After simplification, the result will become 13 out of 15. So, friends, after adding these three fraction, we will get 13 out of 15 as a result. So, now see the case of subtracting the fraction. Again, we have got different denominator and the rule is same that we have to take LCM and make the denominator same to do operation. So, LCM of 6 and 9 will be 18. So, we will make 6 as 18 by multiplying it with 3. So, we will multiply 5 with 3 and we will multiply 6 with 3. Next fraction is 4 out of 9. So, to make 9 as 18, we have to multiply it with 2. So, we will multiply 4 with 2 and we will multiply 9 with 2. So, now we have got fractions as 5 out of 6 have become 15 out of 18 and 4 out of 9 has become 8 out of 18. So, our denominators are same. So, now we will subtract numerators. If we subtract 8 from 15, what we will get result as a 7. So, our result is 7 out of 18. Now, let's see another example. So, in this example, there is a whole number 1 and we have to subtract a fraction from it. So, what we will do in this kind of scenario where there is no denominator. So, for the whole numbers, we can consider 1 as denominator because fractions are kind of division also. And we know if we divide any number by 1, it will not make any difference in the value. So, this sum or this question can be rewritten as 1 out of 1 minus 3 out of 5. Now, because we have given the denominator to the whole number. So, we have noticed that our fractions are having different denominators. So, what we will do? We will again take the LCM and if we take LCM, LCM will be 5. So, now one of our fraction is al already contains denominator as 5. So, we just have to convert the fraction which does not have denominator as 5. So, what we will do? We will multiply it with 5. So, now our question is 5 out of 5 minus 3 out of 5. Our denominators are same. So, we will just subtract the numerators. And after subtracting 3 from 5, we will get 2 as numerator. So, our result is 2 out of 5. So friends, these were some examples through which I tried to explain the addition and subtraction of the fraction where the denominators are different. So like my other videos here also, I want to give you the keynotes. So what are the keynotes? Denominators must be same while doing addition or subtracting on fraction. If they are not same, what we will do? We will take the LCM and make the denominator same. Add numerators only while adding fractions. We don't have to touch denominators in the fraction. Subtract numerator while subtracting fractions. And if required, simplify the result. So friends, here are questions for the day. So, I have given one question from addition and one question from the subtraction. You have to write the answer in the comment section. I will be waiting for your reply. And if you think this video was at all helpful for you, please like this video and share with your friends and family. And please subscribe to the channel. It's free. And thank you so much for watching this video.